Originally, I wanted to climb Everest because I wanted to prove to myself that I'm really strong and I'm very capable. I realized that that's not big enough a goal to have. So I met the founder of the organization, Empower Nepali Girls, and he told me how girls in Nepal become victims of human trafficking. So I decided to do something about it. I grew up in Iran. I experienced firsthand the oppressive, restrictive environment that makes gender discrimination possible. So saving those girls, providing education for those girls, giving them opportunities to have a better life was exactly what I wanted when I was growing up. And I promised the organization to raise one dollar per foot of any mountain that I climb so that they can continue their education. I started climbing mountains, the higher the better because I could raise even more funds and finally I was ready for Everest. On April 25th, 2015, a powerful earthquake, 7.8, struck Nepal and 10,000 people died that day. It happened that I was at 20,000 feet on Mount Everest on an ice wall and climbing the wall when the earthquake hit us. I saw my whole life right in front of me and then the earthquake stopped. And then we had to wait there five more days to get another helicopter rescue us to Kathmandu. I just raised money for the girls to continue their education but they didn't even have a home, they didn't even have food or water, they didn't have a shelter. So since 2015, we've been building back homes and schools. All of our girls, all 300 of them survived the earthquake. They're all okay, they're all doing well, and they're all back to school, studying really hard, and they all have homes and shelters and doing well. There are so many little things that we are all capable of every single day. But the one that I think it's easy for all of us to do is acknowledging people who are trying to do just a little bit better in their life. Like if you see a girl, a woman, somebody who is really trying their best to push themselves out of their comfort zone, to do something new and different, acknowledge them, say thank you to them, appreciate it, so that they get the confidence to do something even more later. And I think this is easy, simple, all of us can do it every day, and it would take us just a little bit closer towards gender equality.